All right, yo, what's up, everyone? So uh, after watching um, Critical's like serial dealers, I suddenly had like a flashback to like this video that I saw a few years ago on a guy who was like obsessed with blueberry. So I kind of wanted to make a video on it. Let's go. Tonight, I'm totally obsessed. This guy is so consumed with blueberry breakfast cereal, he eats nothing else. Anybody who finds blueberry disgusting without trying it, they're just talking out of their ass. Off we go to Richmond, Virginia, to meet a man whose idea of heaven is a bowl full of blue cereal. It's called blueberry, and there's a ghost on the front of the box, so you know it's nutritious. 12. 14. For the past 20 years, Roger Barr has been obsessed with... And now we meet our protagonist, Roger Brown. He kind of looks like Eminem, actually. I guess if Eminem was, wasn't Slim Shady, he became Slim Barry. He also looks like one of those dudes from, like, Dude Perfect. Maybe instead of, like, throwing basketballs, he just, like, shoots Booberry through hoops. With Booberry cereal. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Boo. 22. 22. Damn. <laughs> it's the greatest cereal in the world, and I think everybody should eat it. And 28. You know, it's kind of funny. This, this is actually what it kind of looks like with coronavirus hoarding. He was hoarding before it became popular, man. Who wants to live a life without blueberry? Not me. I never had blueberry cereal before, so I can't really talk about how it tastes, but Roger imagine being this obsessed with it. Blueberry every day since he was seven. That's more than 7,000 bowls. 7,000 bowls? I'm surprised he hasn't died from like a heart attack, dude. I'm kind of like a heroin addict who hasn't had their drugs in a really <laughs> long time, you know? It looks like a bunch of rocks, really purple rocks. Food that goes blue normally means it's rotted. And that's good stuff. Anybody who finds blueberry disgusting without trying it, they're just talking out of their ass. <laughs> Roger has even waged a campaign against Boo's rivals Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Count Chocula and Frankenberry, they think they're so great. They're, they're always talking, acting just like complete asses. Well, boo to you, Gentlemen, please. When he mentioned me, he actually wanted to kill one of the other characters. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, man's out here actually waging war. He's like one of those like waifu warriors on Twitter who like who like fight to the death over their favorite waifus. But it's, well, him, he's fighting over Blueberry. I imagine like if he got into anime, he would be like one of those people fighting on Twitter, being like, "What did you say this about my waifu? I'm gonna kill you!" And he even says that he wants to kill like the other people. That's actually some. I've actually seen some of that those tweets on Twitter where they're like, "Fuck this, fuck that bitch, I'm gonna kill her." I, I remember that day. Are you ready to rock, Booberry? We're ready to rock! Rock and roll, baby! Talk it off. Man, this is the next, this is the next five seconds His of summer, man. His love for Booberry got the attention of cereal maker General Mills, who told Roger to cease and desist. <laughs> but that hasn't stopped Roger from lashing out I hope that isn't his girlfriend. Enemies. Let's go, Roger! The Booberry song has a message of death. Um, basically, it's a death threat. <laughs> it's a big I respect the passion, though. And Frankenberry. I'm not buying their damn cereal ever again. The quest for blueberry. Roger has been known to travel 50 miles just to find a store that stocks blueberry. Wait, 50 miles? Man, this man's a fucking cereal crusader, bro. He'll go to like the depths of hell just to like get a package of blueberry. Uh, I, I rated though. At least he's loyal to blueberry. Cereal. Frozen waffles? No, thank you. Uh, full stock of blueberry. That's what, I like, That's what I like to see. Yes, sir. He also go well out of his way to bury the competition. Man, he's using guerrilla warfare at this point. I want people buying blueberry, and I don't want the grocery stores to think that Count Wait, and he wants people to buy blueberry, but he's buying all of it. Isn't that, like, contradicting his argument? What the fuck? Frankenberry, you're selling. Blah, blah. Screw you. I think he needs to let it go. And he's using really Sponge advanced Bob's tactics Spider right now. Sabotage. He gets all the attention and It's what the like Mongols blind. used to conquer 80% of the world. Ridiculous. Anything I can do to help out Booberry's cause, that's, that's yeah, what I'm there for. It's a fucking Booberry presidential to debate out here. So what better place to put it with than with toilet paper, so... No one's gonna see this down here. Look at that. Damn, what? I'm Perfect. surprised the workers haven't kicked them out yet. <laughs> that is like mom or something? That's okay. Um... I'll be right back. There's more. There's more. 
If Blueberry stopped existing, that would be really hard. Damn, if he stopped That's existing, like... I feel like if Blueberry stopped existing, like, Roger might, might just eventually, like, just starve himself to death, and then eventually he just stops thinking. Yeah. So, uh... You hungry? You hungry, bro? Look at this dude. And that's pretty much all that video. Honestly, I I can't really tell this thing. This might be like satire on like my strange addiction. No, I think this came out before my strange addiction. But if this is real, man, this guy actually needs some help to be this obsessed. I mean, I can't really say that because I mean, there's people, there are people like him on Twitter. They are just like over obsessed about this so and some of them are like even like worse than him they'll like go out of the way to like kill people just for that so at least you know he's like he he's at least not like so delusional that he'll actually like kill those people and i i really enjoyed this video man like this this brought back so many memories because i remember watching this as a kid laughing and i still laugh at it now because it's, it's actually kind of crazy that there there might actually be people like and that's pretty much it.